Hi, welcome to Under the Cuff. Um, today, I, what I'm wearing under the cuff is the Blue Angels uh, EcoDrive watch by Citizen. Um, it is a watch we will be reviewing today. Uh, so let's get a closer view of this watch and get into it. So this is the Blue Angels EcoDrive watch by Citizen. Uh, this is what it looks like on the wrist. And for a better view, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take it off. So here's the Blue Angels uh, watch by Citizen. Uh, as mentioned before, uh, it is an EcoDrive watch. And what the EcoDrive technology is, is basically taking uh, natural light and uh, basically light from any source and converting it in into energy to power the watch itself. Uh, that's a pretty cool feature. Um, Another uh, worthy note is it actually is um, synchronized with the atomic clock, so it is very accurate. Um, it's actually extremely accurate also with the perpetual calendar uh, chronograph. Uh, it is radio controlled, so it's smart enough uh, where it will uh, know whether or not it is the first or the 31st. Uh, if we take a look also, the complication, you can see the date, the day here, uh, or sorry, the day is down here at the bottom right. Hold on, let's just grab something to point it out with. So, you should be able to see uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday right down there, and you can't see the date there. Um, <clears throat> It has 26 time zones, so if you take a look inside the inner bezel here, you can see, uh, let's get in there, uh, Chicago, New York, uh, London, Paris, uh, you see Riyadh, uh, Tokyo, so on and so forth. Uh, so <clears throat> basically uh, what you can do is uh, pull out the main crown to position one. Uh, turn it to the time zone that you want, so whichever way, and then push it back in. I'll just keep it on New York. Um, so there is also, if you look at the top right corner here, a uh, power indicator. And what you can do is just press this button down here, and it will give you uh, what your power is at. I'll set back here. Uh, on the inside, uh, you should be able to see a, a bezel. Uh, this is a pilot's rotating slide rule. Um, it's an internal bezel here, and you can move it using this crown here. And honestly, I'll never use it. I don't think I'll ever need to use it. Uh, this is more of a party trick for me. Uh, however, if a pilot uh, knows how to use it, they can probably use it and it's quite accurate. Uh, the glass itself is um, anti-reflective sapphire crystal. Uh, it is water resistant up to 200 meters as you can see there. Um, however, I probably wouldn't uh, take a chronograph uh, to go swimming. Uh, too many chances for water to get into it. Uh, I'd rather wear a diver's watch or even uh, a sports watch like a Timex or whatever, or G-Shock. Uh, one of my favorite features of this watch is actually the case back. It has Blue Angel's crest. It's pretty cool. Uh, one of my least favorite features of this watch is actually the bracelet it comes on. Uh, it has some weird mesh in between the blue and the yellow leather, and it, I kind of feel like it makes uh, it more uncomfortable to wear. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring up the calipers and get some measurements here. So, oops. Bezel is 43 millimeters as per the website. The calipers might be off slightly, uh, but it, it does uh, seem a little bit uh, larger, especially with all the um, crowns and things around it. Uh, the lug width 
is actually 23 millimeters, which makes it very difficult uh, to find um, to find straps for this watch. It also has uh, curved lug bars here too. So uh, I will be putting this on a NATO soon, um, just because the weather is getting better. Uh, I'll be wearing a lot more short sleeves. I do not enjoy wearing uh, NATO straps when I'm wearing uh, longer shirts. Um, and um, oops. lug to lug, this thing's about 47 to 48 millimeters. And the height, the thickness is uh, almost 13. Thank you for watching my review of the Blue Angels uh, watch by Citizen. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button, uh, subscribe, and uh, share this video with your friends. Check out my Instagram too. Uh, more pictures coming soon.